MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So, Danny, we've got here a Lang Veritech Vice. For our viewers, could you talk us through the basics of how it works and what it would give them in their machine shop? Yeah, sure. I mean, this is um, more like a sort of standard vice compared to the, the five axis ones that, that Lang do. Um, you can use it a lot for sort of second op work and things like that. Um, you've got these pins in here uh, which, can, which come out using an air gun, standard air gun. You just depress the pins uh, where you want the block to go in so you can uh, machine it at angles or, or, or anything you want, you know. So that, we've got a block there. So can you just put that in the vice yeah, just to sure. get... So that's uh, the pins are at the moment at an angle, so you can just rest them on those and just nip it up, and then that's there solid at that angle. Then. So basically, the pins are also supporting or stopping the the part from moving. So that's right. So you would call this like a second op in vice. Yeah, really. I mean, you can have. Uh, I mean, if you've got a three-axis machine and you need to get at the different angles, you can also use it for that. There are plates that hang on the pins uh, that you can, you know, increment the block at any angle you you need to. So, what, so what about irregular shapes and things like that? Would you use it for irregular shapes? Um, not so much. I mean, we've got the the soft jaw vices that you could use more for that. Um, this is more for for sort of square blocks or if you are machining at different angles. So this is a great example, this particular component here, of what you would use this vice for. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then next to it then, so this would be the zero point system that the vice goes into? That's right, yeah. All of Lang's products work with this zero point system. So they centre within four microns and you just drop it in, in with using the studs, two turns on the lead screw and that's clamped then. So you would set the vice off the machine, or you could set the vice off the machine, and what you would then do is once the machine had finished the cycle on, current components you would just change the vices. That's right and I mean what the quick point allows you to do you could also then have this on your CMM machine and then you can just drop the vice with the component onto another quick point plate measure it up and you've not moved it at all from the machining to the CMM. Right got you also you could then have if you had a quick point on all of your machining centres you could go from machining centre to machining centre there would be no need to re-clock or reset parts. Exactly, yeah. I mean, as I say, these centre within four microns, and that's the idea, really, that you have them on all your machines. And how is it, do these come in bigger sizes, or do you just build them up? Yeah, you can, you can pitch them across, yeah, like, say, in a modular format. Uh, there is, this is a 52 mil pitch. You also get a 96 mil pitch for the larger vices. Uh, you can also use them straight into a block, you know, so if you've got a fixture or something you want to put on there, you know, you just put the studs in the bottom of the fixture and, and away you go. And how does it attach to the bed of the machine? Uh, they just bolt into the T-slots or they also have these uh, side bits recessed uh, that you can just nip them down, you know, if you ever want to change them. But, I mean, the idea is that once they're bolted onto the machine, you know, they never leave then. You put on whatever you want, a chuck, a vice, you know, a fixture. OK, so coming back to the actual, um, the actual vice here, how unique is this system with these pins? Yeah, I mean, this was uh, Mr. Lang's first uh, product. He um, has been very successful with this. I mean, there's nothing that I know of really on the market that, that compares to it. I mean, um, so, so yeah, I mean, it, it's um, self-centering and, uh, yeah. And if we take this part out, let's just take this part out, just want to finally explore something. Can, can you remove the, um, these jaws so it could become a standard vice? Yeah, um, you can indeed, yeah. So you can take them off and then it's just a standard vice. I mean, they, um, I think it, it clamps uh, about 14,000 newton metres. So it's, um, you know, it's got a pretty good clamping force. OK, brilliant. Fantastic insight into what, to me, is, uh, is a pretty novel product. Thank you. No, thank you. thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.